discover the joy of sewing with knits. They come in a variety of styles and forms, from tissue weight jersey to bulky sweater knits. You don't have to learn how to wrestle with knitting needles to make yourself comfortable, easy fit, and easy care clothes. Most machine knit fabrics don't ravel. This means you don't have to worry about finishing all of the seam allowances. Cut edges do tend to curl, however, and this is one reason knit seam allowances are usually kept narrow. If you sew the seams with a standard sewing machine set on a straight stitch, the seams won't stretch and can even pop over time. Instead, set your machine to a zigzag stitch at 2 mm width and 3 mm length. This particular stitch was set at 1 mm width and 2 mm length. It stretches with the knit and recovers without popping. Knits usually stretch most across the width of the yardage. This is almost always along a shoulder seam. When you sew the shoulder seam, include a strip of narrow twill tape, seam binding, or compatible selvage from a woven fabric into the stitching to stabilize the shoulder and keep it in shape over the life of the garment. Sergers make short work of sewing knit fabrics. The serger sews, trims, and overcasts the seams in one pass. You can set the machine to stitch at different widths to suit the knit you're using. A fine knit uses a narrow overcast stitch, whereas a bulky knit finishes nicely with a wider stitch setting. Most knit necklines are finished with a form of binding. Bindings differ. They can encase the knit's raw edge or be sewn to the right side raw edge and pressed to the wrong side such as on a crew neck or be sewn to an edge matching raw edges and turned over the seam allowance and under the edge. Knit lines can also be faced. Cut a matching fabric, sew it to the neckline edge, turn and press, and then top stitch or under stitch to keep everything in place. Use one of the various rolled edges that a serger provides. This is sometimes used for all of the edges in a knit garment for a more deconstructed look. The roll can be several different widths. If you stretch the edge while stitching, either by hand or with a differential feed, the edge ruffles into a lettuce edge. This is a cover stitch machine. This sewing feature is included on some multipurpose sergers, or you can use a standalone cover stitch machine such as this. The cover stitch is used by many ready-to-wear companies as their standard knit hem. It makes a double top stitched row on the right side connected by looped zigzag stitches on the wrong side. This stitch is intended to encase the cut edge inside a thread channel. There, it won't catch on anything. The difference between stitches from this machine and a twin needle on a standard sewing machine is that the stitches from the cover stitch will stretch with the fabric and those from the twin needle will not. Twin needles also have a tendency to channel the fabric. This is a catch stitch. It is sewn by hand and makes a row of X's across the hem edge. The stitch works from left to right and barely shows on the right side. There is no need to otherwise finish the cut hem edge. Enjoy sewing knits. You'll be surprised at how easy they are to fit and assemble.